Hey folks, Ron here. Hope everybody's well. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you the home of Vivian Vance. Best known, of course, I don't know if she would like herself best known, but best known as Ethel on uh, I Love Lucy. And I believe this home, I'll show you right now, there's going to be fans out there that know a lot more than I do. So this home, I believe, was probably the last home because and it's obviously been I redone since then. Um, she moved to California in 1974 and I believe died in 79. So this might have been the last home, but you folks can let me know. She had a stroke and breast cancer, and unfortunately, her later years were not that great health wise, obviously. But this is the home. We've got an Audi and a Volvo in the. Uh, <laughs> in the lot there that's appropriate for this neighborhood very beautiful neighborhood in pacific palisades oh it's beautiful beautiful home looks like it has two wings that are up there let's see if we get a little closer since these people are home i don't want to get obviously too close the gate is open So, it's an interesting story considering uh, about regarding Vivian Vance and regarding I Love Lucy. She was a theater actress. Mark Daniels, who was a director, uh, recommended her to Lucy when Lucy was doing the casting for I Love Lucy. And actually, Lucy wanted um, two very good friends of hers to be considered. One was uh, turned down, <laughs> flatly refused by the studio because evidently her drinking problem um, was such that um, it uh, deterred from her being able to be reliable in the role. And the other friend of Lucy's, um, I believe she had another commitment and couldn't do it. So Vivian Vance ended up with the role and Bill Frawley was cast as her husband, and he was about 22 years older than her, because Vivian was only in about 41 or 42 years old at that time. So there was a lot of animosity between them that apparently Vivian didn't want to be, um, she thought that he was old enough to be her father, which actually he was, and they just didn't get along because of that. And in fact, after the series, there was talk of a spin-off series spin-off uh, series between uh, with um, Ethel and you know William Frawley Fred and Ethel and he wanted to do it and she turned it down one of the reasons was that she just didn't want to work you know alongside just him anymore there must have been a lot of animosity and I think that was the nail in the coffin of their professional and our personal relationship if there ever was a personal relationship now, she agreed to uh, do the next Lucy series, but only if she could get away from the character of Ethel. So I believe they gave her uh, another name in that one. And, you know, her character was a different character. She just didn't want to do it anymore. And so obviously her relationship with Lucy must have been okay enough that um, she could keep working with her. And uh, she was married, oh, three or four times. I'm going to show you some of the neighborhood, too lived on the East Coast, and then, like I say, eventually, eventually moved here to this beautiful Pacific Palisades neighborhood in 74, and unfortunately she died five years later. Um, so those of you who know, and I know there will be those of you out there, um, you can tell me more details than I know about her life and about her last years. Oh, that's a student driver. I thought that was a security car watching me. <laughs> student driver, well, it's a quiet neighborhood for it. Anyway, you can tell me more about her last years and if this was her last home, which I assume it was. Okay, folks, well, I guess I'll call it there. Uh, my name is Ron. Thanks again for watching, as always. Thanks for your support. 
If you like the channel, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please hit the little bell icon next to the subscription button. Then you'll get indications as to when I post. And please uh, give the channel likes. That I'd like more than anything because that really gives it traction. Okay, folks, I appreciate it, and I'll see you at the next location. Thank you. Bye-bye.